Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about how do you generate random numbers in your NumPy array. So basically we have worked with NumPy and then we know how to create the array but before this we were using a range or line space to add values to your array or maybe ones and zeros if you remember. Now with those you get some specific set of values. With a range you get in sequence, with ones you get all ones. But what if you want to test something and you want to generate some random values, not ones and zeros? How do we do it? Now there are multiple ways of doing it. Before this we used to use NumPy's rand function. Now we got something new. So we got something called generator in numpy.randommodule. So let's use that and let's generate some random numbers. So the first thing first, we have to import the numpy package. So let's say import numpy as np. So that's the first thing. And now once you have done that, let's create the array. But since we have to use the random generator, we will be using that. So we'll have to import that as well. So we'll say from, so we don't want everything. So I will specify numpy.random import generator. So I don't, I don't want to use the same name every time. So I will be using allies there and I will say gen. Now with this, we also need a specific type of generator. Now basically if you want some sequential numbers or if you want some random numbers, before this we used to use something called LCG, which is linear congruential generator. And now since it has some weaknesses, we are going to use the permuted congruential generator, which is PCG. So there's basically a pseudo number generator. So let's use that as well. So from numpy.random, we have to import the PCG, specifically PCG64, and we'll name it as PCG. So these are the two things we need. Once you have it, you can generate the numbers now. So how do we do it? So let's say I want to create an array, and this will have random generated numbers. So I will say RG. And in this, I want to have those values. So it's actually very simple. You will say, you will use gen, and then you will specify the brackets here. And if you do that, you can see you got an error. It says, uh, takes exactly one positional parameter. And what is that parameter? Basically, we have this, we have used this PCG, right? So once we import it, we have to use it here so that it will generate using PCG. And that's how you generate, that's how you get the array. But then if we try to print it, let's say if this works, are we missing something? So we got the generator type, but then we don't have the values. How do you get the values? Now see, when you say you want to generate some random values, what type of distribution you need. So there are multiple options. You can go for normal distribution, which will go with a mean of zero and the standard deviation one, which we basically call as a bell curve, but there are other options as well. So you can generate uh, integers randomly and multiple options. But here we are going to use normal distribution. So before you print this, and once you say generate, here I will say ARR, RG dot normal. So normal method or normal function here is for the, uh, normal distribution, standard distribution. So I will just go back here and say, I want to generate, but then what is the size of your array you need? So you have to specify those values here as well. So I will say, I want the size of, I mean, five comma five. So this will generate a matrix of five by five, and I hope it will work. So I will say enter, and you can see we got all the values here. So just by doing ARR.RG, you will not get the values. You have to use normal to get the values here. And if you see, uh, these are the values. And every time you do this, you will get different values. Every time I run this, so it will create the array with random values. But again, this will follow the bell curve since we are saying normal here. But there's one little problem here. So let's say you want to test certain things and every time you run this function, you will get different, different values. What if you want specific set of values? And it's not like everyone should get the same specific values. So at this point, you can specify a seed based on which you will get the values. It will use some algorithm to uh, generate those values based on the seed. And if you want to do that, you can just go back here to the PCG and you can mention the seed. So I can say seed value, any value I can mention, let's say 99. And if I say enter this, so every time you run this, you will get the same value. But yes, if you change this seed, you will get different values. But again, with the same seed, you will get the same values. So this will maintain some consistency for you to test it. Apart from normal, what if you want to generate numbers, but not in this format, maybe integers? How do we do that? So let's do that now. So I will say ARR, RG, and then instead of using normal now, I'll be using integers. So we'll say integers, and you have to specify the size. So I will say size is, again, I want five by five, so I will just stick to it. And I will say enter. And you can see we got an error. Uh, it says in the integer, there should be one positional parameter. Okay. Let me specify this seed once again before we solve this error. And I want to see, I want to specify the seed of, let's say, 100 this time. Or maybe I will say 200. 
So when you basically talk about integers, you have to specify the range as well. So maybe I want the values to be from 10 to 100, and I want the values in between. So you can specify the low, I will say low is 10, and you can specify the high, which is 100, and then you can specify the size. And with this, if you run this, you can see we got the values. Now all these values are between 10 to 100. I hope so. Yeah, that's what we can see here. So we can use normal or we can use integer. Otherwise, we can also use random, which will not follow the normal distribution. So what I'm going to do is I will just write this once again. I'm not just copy pasting. I'm just reusing the code. And this time I will use a seed 300. Uh, and here, instead of using integers, I'll be using random. And let's say this time I don't want to specify the high low. I will just remove it and stick to the size. And when you say enter now, you can see we got the values. Every time you run this, you will get the same values because we have specified the seed. And that's how you generate random values. Again, the difference between normal and random is random is completely random. Normal will follow the bell curve and integers will give you integer values. So this is a good way of generating random values. And we have used something called generator and PCG64 from numpy.random module. So yeah, that's it from this. Uh, let's explore more things in the next video.